Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel, Being Barley Bree, the journey of a wife, mom, and lady boss. And on today, I'd like to journey with you through another DIY mommy project, building and converting these bookshelves into useful storage and closet space for my son's nursery. So when we initially found out that I was expecting, we were just in the beginning stages of renovating our home. We had started with the kitchen, and the floors. So luckily enough, when we found out that I was pregnant, we had already completed all of the floors throughout the house. So we had to take on the task of choosing a room to use as the nursery and getting it ready. The room we chose was actually the smallest of all three of our bedrooms. And putting a halt in the renovations meant that we did not finish the closet space. You'll see in the back of the video once I'm off the floor and doing things upright. The closet behind me is not finished, but my brother comes up with a unique idea on how to hide that closet. So tune into that bonus video in this series of DIY mommy projects. He uses a power tool for the first time. <laughs> but back to this assembly, um, I got these two bookshelves off of walmart.com. Um, in the Pinterest, she just used an old bookshelf and converted it but I have to start from scratch because I didn't have access to any old bookshelves so I ordered these for a two for one deal on walmart.com they were about 60 bucks in total for two of them I'll leave the name in the description and they got here in prompt uh, prompt fashion but I kind of wish I would have got them in black instead of white that's something to discuss for a later video when I do his full nursery um, tour. Assembly was pretty easy, but um, there are a lot of small intricate pieces. So if I suggest anything for any other DIY mommies, it would be to make sure that your fingernails are not as long as mine. I was just so excited to get started on these projects that I didn't think that it would matter that my fingernails were so long. Because in the first two trimesters, I was so sick, I didn't really do much, and my fingernails weren't a problem. But once I hit the third trimester and was able to start functioning and doing more, being more hands-on, they proved to be a problem with um, assembling a lot of the stuff for my son's nursery. But work it, girl. Get through it. I did. Because once the first unit was complete, doing the second one was a no-brainer. I had professional handling with these small materials. As far as tools are concerned, you only are going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and a hammer. Um, all the nails and screws are provided with the product. I actually have two Phillips heads, one regular size and one miniature. Um, the miniature you saw me using in the very beginning of this video, the little orange one. It just helped with the maneuvering and made this process a little bit easier. Um, you just want to be sure to have everything level and make sure that you are screwing these screws in at a straight angle because this is man-made wood. It's easy to crack or strip the holes. And if you do that, you have to start with a completely new unit because there are no replacement parts to these um, bookshelves. So be careful, take your time and leave room for trial and error. I know a lot of these projects can seem overwhelming if you've never done anything like it before, but I'm pretty handy. I'm an avid DIYer, so I figure it out and I'm used to using these tools. So now that I have majority of the frame put together for the top portion of this unit, I am about to attach the middle shelf, which will be used as the locking portion to connect the two um the two ends of the unit the top and bottom portion and if you pay close enough attention like i was not doing at the time you'll see that i am attaching this shelf backwards all of the rest of the frame has the unfinished side facing up and i'm attaching this shelf with the finished side facing up and that's completely wrong but I'll catch it before complete assembly is finished and swap it around. It's simple. Um, it's a simple mistake and a simple fix. So don't get frustrated, you guys. Just take your time. 
one thing I will say is you are going to have to do this on the level surface. Um, it's kind of hard to keep these shelves level because it's it's not the greatest quality of wood and stuff like that. So I won't say the cuts are bad or anything, but you just have to get creative with making sure it's level so that you don't do any unnecessary damage to the product. So once I have all of the screws tightened, another thing, do not super tighten, super screw these in so tight that they barely move because again, you run the risk of cracking this man-made wood. So just make sure it's, it's tight, but not too tight. They're, they do supply you with a um, wall stabilizing mechanism so to speak where you can attach to the back of the bookshelf from the wall so you don't run the risk of tipping these over but I am an avid feng shui -er. I like to redecorate and move things around so until baby's actually in this room most of the time like closer to his toddler stages I won't worry about attaching it to the wall just yet and if you look closely you can see that unfinished closet behind me there on the left but my little brother comes up with a unique way to hide it <laughs> um, and so check out that bonus video of him using the power tools for the first time as I mentioned earlier now on to the bottom portion of this unit again I <laughs> attach one of the shelves backwards as you can see now it's front facing and that bottom shelf is completely wrong but I noticed it and I fixed it I was just so excited to get this thing done that I wasn't really paying attention to the details but it's just um, adjusting some screws and flipping it over and rescrewing it so don't beat yourself up I didn't Oh my gosh, this seems so tedious now that I'm watching it, <laughs> but it was a labor of love. <laughs> I like the fact that I had my hand in every part of designing this nursery, including building this furniture, including the crib. So if you haven't checked out that DIY mommy project, head over to my channel, find it and check it out because that was another process, you guys, <laughs> but I love it. I love the fact that I have a hand in every part of getting this nursery together. Okay, there's my little brother to help me with the heavy lifting. And I know, ladies and gents, he's a looker, a little Snoop Dogg-esque, but there's no relation between him and Snoop. He is my biological little brother. He's <laughs> so cute and handy, but appreciate him being on standby to help. Look, he think he did something. You ain't strong. <laughs> That's probably what I told him. It was my look back laughing. So we're going to go ahead and look behind me, the curtain. He put it up in the middle of this project. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and lock the two portions of this unit into place. And there's an arrow on the little washer thingy that lets you know which way to turn it to lock and unlock it. So disassembly will be just as easy as assembly if you want to, you know, take it down and move it or anything like that. So at this point, project bookshelf conversion into closet storage space is about 90% complete. Um, in the Pinterest video I got this idea from, she did not have any backing on her bookshelf, but I believe for a cohesive look, I wanted to put the backing on. If you look behind me, the other bookshelf has the backing. I think that's so clean and classic. So instead of leaving it open like this one, I'm going to go ahead and attach the backing. I'm going to carefully <laughs> lay this thing back down. 
technically I'm not lifting, so I did it by myself. And I apologize for my bum being in you guys' face. <laughs> I am still a new video recorder, so I don't know all the tips and tricks about being in frame, but not being inappropriately in frame and whatnot, so bear with me. Um, these videos are only going to get better in time. And if you check out my very first video, which is the 6-in-1 High Chair Assembly by Graco, honey, that thing was such a bad recording, but I needed to use the footage anyway because for one, my hubby did my voiceover for two. It was the very first project I was able to do once I got a clear bill of health from my doctor. And three, I just love, love, love doing these projects, so... I wasn't going to take it apart and refilm, <laughs> so I just went ahead and used the footage. But check it out anyway. I appreciate the support. If I could give you guys one tip with this backing, it would be to avoid doing what I'm doing right now, which is the four corner method. I'm nailing down all four corners of the backing before I um, nail down the rest of it and what that does is leave room for gapping which is very tacky <laughs> if you, you can avoid nailing down the corners um, it leaves you like if you start with the left side do the whole left side and then go across the bottom and then go up this other side and then across the top with your nails because with this um, backing being folded the way it was it's not straight it's not even and it's not flat so if you nail down the four corners, it leaves you no room to flatten it out because each corner is already in its designated spot. But I believe they give you 16 nails per piece of backing, so you have room to, to fix your mistake if you do do the four corners, like I'm trying to fix myself here. But to avoid the mistake altogether, I suggest nailing down one corner, doing that whole side, and then the next corner doing that whole side, and so on and so forth. And look at my fur baby, that's Miss Sophia in the back. You'll see her in um, other videos because she's always right by mommy's side. I'm not sure if she's gonna be jealous of her baby, but the way she's so attached to me now, I believe it's just gonna transfer. <laughs> she thinks she's a real baby and she's such a diva. She just confiscated my butt pillow. <laughs> I made it her little bed. But when you see that head pop up of hers, that means daddy is home and she is excited. Right there. <laughs> the first thing he does is come back to the nursery to see if I need any help. But as you can see, I'm already wrapping up this project. So I'm just gonna let him do the heavy lifting this time instead of my little brother. And he's so sweet for, he's not even out of his work clothes. He's so sweet for just coming in and to help. And voila, here are the finished units. And if you want to include the hanging space, just get some tension rods. I got the smallest ones I could find. They're beautiful, aren't they? Get it, get it, girl. Anyway, that's a wrap for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. Be sure to check out another video in this series, such as the bonus video of my brother using power tools. And follow me on my other social media platforms.